the Facebook phone and what it means to you. Facebook is apparently working on building a phone. And a lot of people are like, oh yay, Facebook, they're so awesome. They're building a phone, it's gonna be awesome. Yeah, well, maybe not so much. Um, the problem with the Facebook phone is that it's going to be very much like any of the feature phones of the past, except that unlike the feature phones of the past that did a couple of cool things that most other phones just plain couldn't, in a world of smartphones, why the frack would you want a phone that's branded with Facebook and does everything via Facebook? I mean, when Android came out from Google, it was not the Google phone. You know, it was a phone brought to you by Google. But the Facebook phone is truly a Facebook phone. And we've all seen how awful Facebook for mobile is. I mean, that is one of the worst interfaces for just about anything ever. When you look at the history of feature phones, they've all fallen flat on their face because with the exception of the early sidekick, get that out there, they've all fallen flat on their face because they do one thing well and everything else sucky. And so unless you live in that one thing, you're going to be unhappy with it. And let's face it, who lives all day in Facebook? And how do they afford a phone? And Facebook's buying Opera. And Opera has a pretty good mobile browser, but come on. I mean, really? Come on. So then you get into the whole, well, is it going to do the other services? Because Facebook's kind of competitive and monopolistic and probably isn't going to want you to be doing things with Twitter and Google Plus and any of the other places that you might want to do social media stuff, you know, post to Flickr or as opposed to Instagram, those kinds of things. So to me, the idea that Facebook is going to get into the phone business is just one more reason to not invest in Facebook's recent IPO that has already started to flop. Facebook thinks that it is MySpace of a couple of years ago. I mean. MySpace thought they were going to build a phone and have the MyPhone and pfft, how well did that work out? You know, it really just is, Facebook hasn't learned the lessons of the of past. Do one thing well, stay ahead of everybody else so that nobody can dethrone you and stick to your core abilities. You know, let everybody else figure out how to make a great Facebook experience on their phones so that they can keep up with you. Don't go and release a phone that does one thing well and a bunch of things poorly and just burns through your money because the patent portfolio issues alone get to be a nightmare. I mean, that's why Google just bought Motorola and why Microsoft is buying companies in order to have its phone patents ready. And, you know, the, the world is not a welcoming place for people trying to get into the phone business. And Facebook hasn't been doing so well lately, so they probably ought to just stay out of it.